Tell us what you felt, what you saw, what did you, you think? Oh my God, it was surreal. It was Fantasia of VR. How did the headset feel? How did it look? It was comfortable. I, I didn't even really feel disoriented at all. It was uh, really, it was just uh, fun. It was like uh, learning how to, like with different hand movements to get different effects. Uh, oh, the hand motion. Yeah, yeah and it, it was almost kind of like when you're at like a, a light show where it's like the different colors, you know, slowly change. This, it was almost like uh, the type of particles or effects that were going, it would just like slowly go. But if there was a way where um, you could control what it was, like you do a certain hand movement or gesture to get one kind of effect and then to do something else to get another. <laughs> um, and uh, if, if there was some sound too, some spatial audio where we it would actually, be like... We actually do have speakers. Oh, okay. Maybe I just didn't have the headset didn't have on. Them. Okay. Up, but we do have it. Something to look forward to next time. <laughs> Yeah, John, you should do this. So what Thank did you, you think? Oh, so all the particles uh, were quite cool to see. Yeah? Uh, I figured out the mirror. Well, not to see. <laughs> well, I say all the, all the polygons, the oh, particles right, right. shooting from my finger. Uh, that's amazing. It did really an uh, amazing amount of improvements since I saw it in CES, right? That was only right. nine months ago. Right, it only yeah, had... Yeah, hand tracking is awesome. Right. Uh, the, the resolution's higher, so... Good work, you've been busy. <laughs> yeah. You didn't show me all the ways, Master. Okay. <laughs> I'm like trying to figure it out. All right, what's your name? My name's Mark. Mark, and so what did you just try, Mark? So I tried this experience that they that set up where it reflects your in image a, in, in the, the mirrors. In the 8K Pimax HMD. Okay, yes. Okay. So compared to some of the other devices that I've used, um, um, there's no pixelation, zero pixelation. Awesome. Um, up close, um, the movement of the particles is pretty phenomenal at the, the rate of movement that it occurs. So this is by far, as far as the graphics go, it's by far mu much better than anything that I've ever played. Wow. Yeah, it's pretty cool. It'd be interesting to see how this would work under load when there's mo a lot of different kinds of of uh, uh, VR uh, mechanics and physics occurring within an environment. Okay. So um, I'd like to see that, but it, the 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 amount of fluid nature without the pixelation is pretty cool. All right. Good. Cool. So what, what did you think about the um, the weight of the headset? So like for, for games. And as as Didn't as even as notice it. Oh wow. Yeah. So um, uh, can, Great. I would say that I would probably say that the video I saw pertaining to the weight versus the Vive. It's, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, it's much comfort? lighter than the... Comfort-wise? You know, comfort comfort comes with um, duration, so th you never know, um, but it was comfortable upon initial... Hi! Hi. You so you just here? tried the, uh, which one? Yes. The Pimax 8K? Yes, I just did. So what did you like the most about it? It was the view. It was amazing. It was a lot wider than I expected. Like when they said 200, I was like, uh, but wow, that was mind blowing. And what did you think of the uh, picture quality? Picture quality is very good, actually. It, it felt like you're in that war, you know. It felt very real. Wow. It felt like you're totally in there. Okay, okay, okay. That's what we like to hear. Anything else that you want to add? The weight. Uh, that was very light. Very light. Wow. Like. I was kind of skeptical about the, like when I saw the size, I was like, oh. Right, it's going to be heavy. I was like, no, it's going to be like an air, like an airplane sitting on my head or something, but it was very light, so that was, that was a key 